Welcome to your weekday cup of the word. We're in Acts chapter 23 and poor commander Claudius is trying to figure out what to do with Paul. This commander, we'll find out later, his name is Claudius, is trying to make the connection between the Paul that he talks to, who is, for all intents and purposes, seems like a reasonable fellow, and this Paul that the mob talks about that they have such venom and hatred for. So his answer is to take Paul to the Jewish high council, the Sanhedrin, made out of 71 Jewish uh, members, to clarify the problem. Well, this meeting does not last long. It's going to start with Paul making the mistake of yelling at the ruler and having to apologize for it, but it's going to end with a battle amongst the Sanhedrin themselves over the word resurrection. See, half of the Sanhedrin believes in the concept of resurrection after death, and half of the Sanhedrin doesn't. And when Paul mentions the word resurrection, they're going to start arguing with each other, and, and it's going to just degenerate. Commander's going to take Paul back, and later what we're going to find is that there's a conspiracy to try and kill Paul. The commander finds out about it, and he's going to transport Paul from Jerusalem, a Jewish-controlled area, to, the, to Caesarea, which is a Gentile, Roman-controlled area. He's going to take him there and take him over to Herod's palace, uh, where Paul will stay there uh, to avoid assassination, one, and two, to go and eventually stand before Felix, the governor, so they can get this whole thing straightened out. And with that, that's Acts chapter 23. We'll see you tomorrow.